Computational fluid dynamics is an important part of the intercooler design process. It simulates the airflow through an intercooler, showing how well the air flows, as well as its distribution across the core. In this video, you're going to see CFD simulations for some of the most common intercooler designs. We begin with a basic square end tank design. One of the simplest intercooler designs is the easiest to manufacture and commonly found in custom applications. The colours in this CFD simulation represent the speed of the air travelling through the intercooler. Red is fast and blue is slow. In an ideal intercooler, we want the air to be spread evenly across the core and travelling as slow as possible. This results in the maximum possible heat transfer. We can see though that the square design has resulted in turbulence forming in the inlet end tank. Hot air that should be travelling through the core is instead circulating around the end tank. This turbulence is stopping air from travelling through the middle of the core and wasting potential cooling capacity. The next design addresses this, an intercooler with angled end tanks. By angling the end tank, the void is removed and turbulence can no longer form. With no turbulence, air can now freely travel through the centre of the core, giving a much better distribution and better cooling. However, if we zoom into the end tank, we can see one of the issues of this design. This was also present with the square end tanks. The sharp angles result in the flow of air being restricted. This restriction in flow will result in an increased pressure drop across the intercooler, meaning the turbo has to work harder to produce boost, resulting in a loss of performance. This can be prevented by using cast end tanks. These can be designed so that there are no sharp edges and so the air can flow smoothly across the intercooler. You can see straight away that the air flows much better around the outlet, giving improved airflow that results in a decreased pressure drop and improved performance. However, the improvement in airflow has resulted in less air going through the top part of the core, again wasting cooling capacity. This is solved by the last design we're going to look at, intercoolers that feature multi-vane technology. These are specially designed vanes located in the inlet tank that distribute the airflow evenly across the core. The better distribution allows the full cooling capacity of the intercooler to be utilised, allowing the air to travel slower across the core, giving much improved heat transfer. Out of the four designs modelled, the design with MVT performs the best solving the issues that other designs face to give an intercooler with better flow and lower output temperatures.